Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'll show you how you can create these awesome duotone animations in PowerPoint. Let's get started. So let's close out this presentation and let's open up a fresh blank new PowerPoint presentation as we always do and let's set the slide layout to blank so we don't have any image placeholders. Alright, and the first step we need to find a beautiful picture that we can turn into duotone. So let's use this picture of a beautiful waterfall from unsplash.com, link is in the video description if you want the exact photo. Let's name it waterfall, alright. And now let's go to this super awesome website which can turn your photos into duotones. So we can upload this exact photo that we just downloaded from Unsplash and skadoosh as you can see this photo is converted to duotone. And what if you would like to change the colors of your duotone so you can do it here you can choose different palettes. But let's say you were looking through Pinterest and you have found a beautiful duotone design that you just love and you would like to use the exact colors. So what should you do? Let me show you how you can copy these exact colors from this design and paste those hex values here so that you get the same duotone effect. So for that we will be using this Chrome extension called Colorzilla. It's absolutely free. So with the help of the Colorzilla you can click anywhere on the photo and you can copy any color that you want from your screen. So let's paste this first color into the first bubble. Let's just make sure that we have only one hashtag symbol. Beautiful. And for the second tone or for the second color, let's uh, copy this dark blue color. All right, and let's paste uh, the hex values into the second bubble. Beautiful. And just like this, we have converted our photo to this beautiful duotone, which looks pretty similar as this uh, design. That's awesome. All right, so now we can download this photo and we should have two photos, the original one and with the duotone effect. So let's just find those two photos and let's insert them into the first slide. All right, so let's make sure that our photos are aligned to the center like that. So we can copy or cut this duotone photo and paste it into the second slide. All right, and now let's start with the first slide and let's make sure that we crop this photo to 16 by 9. So let's just go to crop options, aspect ratio 16 by 9. Beautiful. Now let's just drag this photo to one of the corners and grab this bubble at the side and let's increase the photo so that it nicely covers the whole slide. And let's do the same for the duotone photo. All right, let's get back to the first slide and let's desaturate this photo so that it becomes black and white. So let's just go to picture options. Let's find a saturation slider and let's drag it to 0%. I think it looks beautiful, black and white, just like this. All right, and let's paste this black and white photo to the second slide and send it to back. Awesome. All right, now we will insert some circles. So for that, we'll have to go to insert and find the shapes. So here are the shapes, all right, and let's choose the circle tool. Yep, the circle tool, hold down the shift key so that you get a perfectly perfect circle, just like that. We can go to format options and let's find a transparency slider and let's just add a little bit of transparency so that we can see what's going on and we can even set this circle as a default shape so the next circle we will create will have this transparency as well all right now let's select the background hold down the shift key select the blue circle go to shape format merge shapes and choose intersect and this way we have created a beautiful duotone circle it's so beautiful we just have to duplicate it so let's just duplicate it command d or control d and now let's make sure that both of these circles are aligned so we can align them to the left side and to the top all right now click anywhere on the slide to deselect and now click on the first uh, circle let's click on crop 
and let's just move it to the left side so that we can see the first circle as well <laughs> circle and we can change the size of the second circle and let's just move it somewhere right here all right beautiful so this is what we have created so far and we can actually delete the first slide we don't need it anymore we can work with this slide let's duplicate it all right so now we are on the second slide let's just zoom out a little bit because we will be increasing the size of these bubbles so let's just select this bubble on the right go to crop options and let's just drag one of these dark handles to increase the size of this uh, circle as well we can change the positioning when we're happy click on crop to apply the changes and for the second circle as well let's go to crop options and reposition it a little bit drag one of those dark handles to increase the size we can even try to overlap these two circles but let's just leave a little bit of a gap and click on crop to apply the changes that's beautiful and now a really important step that we have to do for the second slide we have to go to transitions and we have to make sure we click on morph because morph will help us to do the animation so here's the preview as you can see those bubbles are growing and covering the slide let's just look on the full screen beautiful and this is how we get this duotone animation ladies and gentlemen so as you can see it's not that difficult you just have to convert your photo to duotone and after that just use a little bit of cropping let me just show you what i've done previously so here on this first slide i just have this donut shape and here i have this circle shape and then I just apply the morph, which makes this donut shape into the circle shape. And that's that's all. <laughs> all right. And for this example, I just draw this custom shape. And on the second slide here, I just uh, made this shape to transform into this shape. So yeah, that's uh, pretty easy as well. And here on the first slide, I just had this rectangle. And here I just created a bunch of uh, more rectangles. <laughs> And with the help of the morph, I have created this uh, duotone animation. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, let me just show you how we can animate these text boxes as well. So let's just paste these text boxes from my previous presentation. And let's just type in something awesome. For example, awesome waterfall. Waterfall. Awesome that's beautiful and we can copy these two text boxes and we can paste them into the second slide let's just drag them to the right side a little bit and we can uh, change the text inside of those text boxes for example delicious duotone duotone make sure i write it correctly All right duotone awesome and now we can preview it on the full screen awesome waterfall ladies and gentlemen and now you know how you can create delicious duotone powerpoint animations in no time so ladies and gentlemen i hope you have enjoyed watching this tutorial please let me know if you have any questions or which tip you find the most useful and i'll see you on my next video <music>